Hi, welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you've watched, um, welcome. It's good to see you. And I'm hoping to be better in touch in person um, sometime soon. But um, anyway, I'm glad you could make it. I am on location and the sun is setting in the beautiful Rocky Mountains. I am um, reaching out today from the backyard at mom's house. And as you can see, or maybe you can't, but um, the sky is cloudy. We've got some rain coming. And <clears throat> I'm certainly hoping for a little, uh, little bit of a thunderstorm. There was a tornado warning earlier, which was kind of interesting. Um, fortunately, uh, where we are, uh, we're a little bit away from where the tornado touched down. So the chaos, this is interesting. Um, well, at least for me, <laughs> I have as I've said, so much help, and I am I'm extremely blessed to have the um, support and assistance and everything I could possibly need from friends and family. Um, it's just been amazing. So before I get into the update on... Um, what's going on specifically with mom. Tonight I'd like to talk about the chaos and um, dealing with the emotional ups and downs and all of the um, intense personalities and a lot of um, very um, chaotic energy sometimes. Um, we have all these wonderful, wonderful, lovely, well-meaning people. Some of them, um, excuse me, hiccups. <laughs> Some of them know and like each other. Some of them have never met before this situation. And some of them get irritated by each other a little easily. So for me, I'm surrounded by all these people and they're all wonderful, amazing human beings. But it can get to be a little intense. I, uh, I'm having an extremely busy week so far. I'm working. I'm going back and forth to the care facility. I'm trying to go through uh, belongings and household items and trying to um, arrange for, you know, how to deal with all of this stuff with yard sales and Craigslist and eBay and um, searching for how much this item is worth and will we put that one in a garage sale instead uh, maybe we'll give that away so i'm dealing with a lot of um, that part of things too um, i'm keeping that to the um i'm trying to keep that to a minimum amount of time each day um, an hour or two maybe simply because it does get to be a lot. I need to make a lot of phone calls and I have a lot of phone calls coming in and everybody needs the latest update. Everybody has a tip for this and advice for that and a suggestion and checking on me to see how I'm feeling. Um, how am I holding up um, for the record? <laughs> I'm doing okay. Today's 
for me, mostly a good day, and we'll get to the emotional part of that in a little bit. Um, we did have a couple rough moments, but overall, today's been a good day. Um, I went through the garage with my cousin for a little while. She and her husband helped me get some of the heavier stuff down out of the rafters and uh, work on deciding a few items for the yard sale and things like that. Um, I also worked. I went to, um, to visit mom. Yesterday was really nice after I visited mom. I took my cousin back over to her friend's house. Um, she helped me yesterday. We went through some things. Mom had asked me to find something, so we found it. And then um, afterwards, I took my cousin back over to her friend's house. And then I took a nice little nature drive for myself. You know, all the all these people and all this talking and all the wonderful support is a little overwhelming sometimes and I needed some me time. It was time for some quiet. So I took a little nature drive through a place called Garden of the Gods. If you're local, you'll, you'll know. If you're not, you can look it up. Um, and I'll talk more about the Garden of the Gods and the area where I am at some point um, in a future video. But it was amazing. I forgot how, how incredibly spoiled and... Um, how, how much I took it for granted growing up here with all of the the wonderful beauty. So I did take the drive and then I came back through an older part of town where I stopped at this cute little tea house and just had a tea ceremony and some Chinese dumplings and just sat there quietly for about an hour. No phones, <laughs> no visits, no work, no, no computers. I just sat there and relaxed and embraced the moment and enjoyed my tea and my dumplings. And then I went back to see mom and, oh, I love my mom. And it's very painful to see her condition and watch her body failing the way it is. And all our bodies are going to fail us someday but it is hard to watch. Even though we know it's going to happen, we know that nobody's going to be with us forever. But, but it's still hard. So I had um, some nice, time with mom. We actually had a good conversation when I went back. And today, today was busy. I got up this morning and I did work. I also had um, the usual visits. My cousin was here um, and, um, part of the time while I was working and then I, 
um, did quit working and went out to work in the garage with her, which was was okay. It was it was nice. The company was good. The distraction, the physical, um, the physical work of it was um, was a good break from thinking. So, um, then I did go um, back over to the care facility and, and we had a meeting with the hospice team. Um, so that went well, we discussed the details and options of bringing mom to Arizona to live with me. We worked out, uh, or I worked out with the caseworker, the logistics of how that actually happens, transportation, uh, the cost, Medicare coverage, um, how do we get the appropriate supplies into the house? How long it would take me to um, how long it would take me to organize my house appropriately? And so that was a good conversation. We worked out how we could make it work. Um, however, um, an interesting tidbit, mom had gotten, um, notification this morning from, uh, from the facility that they would be, um, that they had a room open up in the long-term care unit instead of the rehab unit where her current room is. So as part of the um, the visit today with the hospice team, we were also meeting with the um, the care facility and viewing the alternative room. She has decided to go ahead and take the room. It's identical to the one she's had. It's just on a different floor with. Um, Sadly, a different staff. She's really come to like the um, her care providers, which, um, if I was to hear her tell me, I would think she was disappointed. But according to the um, the caseworker, mom's gonna miss the care providers when she moves to the um, to the new room in the actual long um, long-term care unit so we're uh, a little sad to to have that change but I'm certain that the um, the nurses in the other um, in the other unit are going to be just fine. I, the place itself is wonderful. I expect the staff in all of the units is, is going to be good. So we'll meet them tomorrow, at least her, you know how they switch off. So we'll meet tomorrow's staff tomorrow. And Um, get her moved and, and settled. The room was was good. Um, she's moving up to the second floor, and I do have to provide her own TV there. But that's okay. We can um, we can handle that. I'll go find a cheap TV on sale somewhere and take it up to her. That's, you know, it's, 
what we we do what we can, right? So I also had to go to the bank today and pick up a cashier's check to pay the facility. So yes, I've had a very busy day, but now it is getting dark outside and the weather is absolutely amazing. So I am taking a little time to just hang out on the patio in the backyard and and enjoy the weather and make the most of some quiet time alone. I may even get out the yoga mat and do some do some restorative. I'm not sure yet. I may instead go lay down with some meditation. I haven't quite decided. That's been working out well for me this week. Um, and I know I've mentioned before the importance of self-care. I left mom's care facility today and uh, heartbroken. I wanted to cry so hard just because watching your mother decline is it's heart wrenching. It is, it's just crushing to see the person who's always been so strong and so independent have to rely on other people for uh, even getting something to drink or opening the mail. So it was a rough day um, in that regards. I did, um, as I said, speak with the caseworker. I also spoke with her um, hospice nurse and they're thinking that um, my plan to move her at the end of September and today is July 29th, so September's not that far away. You know, we're looking at the month of August and September that um, mom traveling at the end of September, if she's still with us, may not even be feasible at that point. And then I learned mom had already confided in the caseworker that she's made up her mind. She's decided she does not want to come to Arizona. And here we are on the roller coaster. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Whatever she decides is fine with me. She's mom. But the idea that I'm looking at possibly losing her that soon, I mean, I knew time was short, but this was definitely, um, I mean, expected, but still a bit of a hammer. I mean, it's hard. And all I wanted to do was cry when I left. So there were a few tears. And then I went and got some fish and chips. And I have a delicious salted caramel cake to eat before I go do my meditation or yoga. It's getting really dark. Maybe maybe I'll just do my meditation and um, go to bed and try to get a good night's sleep because it all starts again tomorrow. I have to work. We have a big move. 
I still haven't found a car. Had zero time to look today. And as I said, by the time I've had time to settle down and even look, um, I'm just exhausted. I will look tomorrow. I just um, had way too much going on today. So I'll get online tomorrow, um, provided I'm not smothered with people all day. Again, the people are wonderful. I do need to make some time for a few phone calls. You know, there's cousins that have to be updated and my family back in Arizona, they, they need updates and it's hard to make time for those private phone calls. So in the evening when things wind down, I'm doing that as well. I did make um, a couple of calls and hopefully I'll have more time tomorrow because I won't have um, the meeting, you know, at a specific time and I thought I'll have a little more, um, a little more flexibility in my day tomorrow. So hopefully I can get a few more phone calls and look for a car. If I don't find a car, not a crisis, just would rather not spend quite so much on a rental, but you know, we do what we have to do um, until we run out of money and credit to pay for it, which is, you know, part of the yard sale and why we're working instead of just taking the time off because this stuff does cost money. And not all of us have unlimited funds like some of our favorite politicians or celebrities. And some of us still work and do what we uh, do what we have to. So um, I definitely, if you're in a situation like this, I definitely definitely recommend playing hooky a little bit. Take that hour. Take that nature drive. Take that, um, make that stop at the little tea shop. Um, get your fish and chips. <laughs> but do make time every day for little things that make you happy too. That goes a long way. So, uh, that's how we're doing today, coping with the chaos. Um, appreciating all the love that's surrounding and um, the strong personalities that don't always click with each other so they can um, they can all come through me <laughs> they don't have to uh, there's less people going uh, having to rely on each other um, when mom's not having a good day when she's sleeping. Um, being here is certainly a lot easier than trying to um, work out all the, the details and the personalities and what everybody needs. Um, from so far away so it's been it's been a good thing being here and on that I will say good night I hope to see you all soon and um, 
wherever you are. I hope you're enjoying a beautiful sunset. And um, have a blessed evening.